Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to export video from Final Cut Pro 10 to YouTube. It's time to show the world what you created. I'm gonna share with you ways you can export your video using YouTube's recommended upload settings. Also gonna show ways you can improve your videos before you even send it to YouTube. And lastly, as a little bonus, I'm gonna show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail within Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we are here in Final Cut Pro. What we're gonna start with though is we're gonna take a look at what YouTube recommends for its upload and coding settings. So first thing is the container, MP4. Pretty, it's pretty standard there. Audio codec, AAC. And that uh, got some details there. For the sample rate, you want 96 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. And the codec, H.264. Something very important, no pro no interlacing. So when you see the like 1080i, 1080p, you do not want to use any 1080i. Content should be encoded and uploaded in the same frame rate as it was recorded. So if you recorded it at 60 frames per second, it should be uploaded at 60 frames per second. Interlaced, just like I mentioned before, interlaced content should be de-interlaced. If you're doing 1080p, you wanna keep an eye out for this. Make sure that you're at eight megabits per second on the video bit rate. And if you're on 60 frames per second, you wanna do 12 megabits per second. Resolution and aspect ratio. So the player's gonna automatically adjust based on the aspect ratio that you're throwing in there. So YouTube recommends the BT.709 as a standard color space for SDR uploads. So for this example, I've created this project and I've added a couple things in here just so we can see an example of how we can add these things to YouTube. So uh, I've got in here um, some captions as well as chapter markers. So I got this chapter marker here, striking the M key, and that creates a marker. So what you can do is you can right click on these and you can either set it as standard, which is just a marker, or a to-do, so like marking it as something like, hey, I need to check this out later, uh, adding it to your to-do list, or you can create a chapter marker. So we're actually gonna go into modify to do this, because we can do the same exact thing here. Marker, to-do, and a chapter marker. And we'll just type in, and done. So we use these chapter markers in order to create chapter markers on YouTube. It's very helpful when you're trying to scrub through and find the content that you're really needing. So one of the best ways to utilize the chapters on YouTube is through an app called Creator's Best Friend. And it looks like it's already filling that in. Right here, Creator's Best Friend. So this app is not free, but it is worth every penny. It'll help your workflow so much. So let's open that up here. It's a very simple program. Basically, you just will be creating an XML file. So let's go ahead and create that XML file. Export XML. Dance XML file. Now let's open XML. There we go. All right, we're hitting our first wall. <laughs> Each chapter should be at least 10 seconds long. All right, so I had to modify the chapter markers a little bit. Let's go back in. Export XML, dance, XML fixed. All right, let's bring creator's best friend back in here. Open XML. And look at that. So it was looking out for us. If we would have put that on YouTube, we would have been stuck. So you can actually come in here and adjust these like let's say we were like oh no we were supposed to label these dancer two and dancer three and let's say we were like oh we want to link this to www.stupidraisins.com then we can add those links in there we can also add in emojis all right i just learned for the first time you can do control command space and find an emoji. Nice. So we got those all updated. Now what we'll do with this information now is we have these time codes and all of this, you just take this and we'll straight copy this right into our 
uh, YouTube video information, the description. So we're gonna go back to Creator's Best Friend and copy and paste those timestamps and chapter markers that we had. I'm gonna put them in the bottom of this video and save the changes. Now let's go to this video. And we're gonna find, we've got those chapter markers right at the bottom. Look at that, pretty snazzy. All right, we're gonna hold that thought while we go in here and add a destination for YouTube. So we're gonna create one right here. We're gonna call it YouTube. We're gonna go for better quality. And let's say we are ready to upload this. We find our custom destination. Start filling this out. Dancers. Now, this is one thing, even if you create a custom destination, for some reason, Final Cut does not allow you to set the resolution. I'm assuming it's because they're, they expect that every time you put something in here, it's going to be different. So we're gonna mark that as 1080, so we get better quality. Put that in there for the compression. Export captions, yes. Burn in captions. Now this is the point where if you want to have the captions appear over your YouTube video forever, if you wanna burn that into the video, you can do that. In some cases that does make sense because a lot of people will play certain videos without sound and burning in those captions allows you to still get your message across to them even though they're watching your video with no work, with no audio. All right, so let's create this. Dancers. All right, we got that progress bar going. All right, share successful. So we're gonna click show. All right, so we got our files all ready to go. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Now that you're gonna be on YouTube, why don't you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, so we're coming over here to YouTube. We are going to click on create upload video. Now we know our file is over here in the documents. We're gonna drag and drop that here. And up, up and away, it's going. Let's zoom this out a bit here. This is where we can come in here and start putting things in. So we want that title to be dancers and description and thumbnail. Now that's the other thing. We're gonna come back to this and add a thumbnail, but for now we'll let that load. Audience, uh, whether it's made for kids or not, there's different um, guidelines that YouTube has for that. So if it's made for kids, you click that. If it's not made for kids specifically, then you click this here. So th there's a whole lot of settings you can do. So something I recommend while your YouTube video is still loading is go over to visibility and schedule. So set a time to, for this video to premiere. Let's say we want it to happen tonight at 7 p.m. Let's say 6 p.m. You set your time zone. Let's say it's Phoenix time. And you go ahead and schedule that. Now what's great about that process versus just uploading it right when it's done is right now it's still processing. It's only gonna have the standard definition file ready right away. You want all the versions of your video ready by the time you publish. We're gonna come in here and make some of those adjustments. So as you can see, we have some thumbnails pre-made for us. We can roll with that one there or this or this. We can adjust our end screen, create some different elements in there. So let's say we didn't like any of the options for the thumbnail that popped up. We can find a spot where it's like, you know what, I like how that dance logo is beginning to draw itself. Let's go ahead and save this current frame. YouTube thumbnail. And we can take that and upload that to YouTube. Or if you wanna get a little more in depth with this, you could find a similar spot where one of the dancers is doing 
the move that you want. Let's just say that right there. And we can take this title and we can make some changes that are just, just temporary within Final Cut. And we can move this around, rotate it, make it smaller. Let's say we wanna say dance, dance, dance. We take that right there and save current frame. YouTube thumbnail and save it. Replace that old one we tried. All right, we're back in YouTube. We're gonna go to upload YouTube thumbnail, track down the one that we created, open, save those changes and we just uploaded a YouTube thumbnail without having to dive into Photoshop or any other additional program. We just use Final Cut Pro to take care of it. Now that you've learned how to export video from Final Cut Pro to YouTube, I've made another video about how to draw lines in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.